Okay. Oh, hello, everyone. This is uh, Jamo. <laughs> I'm back again on another live, uh, another live stream here. Okay. So yes. Um, so tonight, I, I just really want to uh, respond to some comments that I've seen. Uh, I'm going to respond to one comment that I think I saw today on the latest on a video that I made, uh, and then also I'm going to respond to a comment about uh, Cuba Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, to be honest with you, well, I'm going to get into that. Um, that's going to be my second comment I'm going to respond to. But I, I really didn't even know about Cuba Dave until uh, until somebody commented about that. <laughs> Anyways, but um, the comment that I want to get into right now, and I'm going to I'm not I'm going to actually read this because I, I thought I think this is I think it's very interesting. I think it's very fascinating, this comment, because I think it really speaks about mentality. And I think it's very important to talk about, to have this conversation. It says, yo, man, what's good? Kiwan Webster, what's good? I appreciate you for joining the live stream. Gavin Chainer says, where are the beautiful ladies at? Um, probably on the street. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, not here. No, definitely not here. Okay, anyways. Um, so this comment I'm going to read. It says, jail... Well, question mark, uh, exclamation point. Next interview, let them know in America, we know there's no privacy in public. And to get a lower paying job if they don't want to be seen. Not to mention, they would probably go home broke if it wasn't for the advertisement for travelers those undercover videos bring. It's stupid, though. Okay, so... Uh, that was the comment that uh, I, I kind of want to. I kind of want to dive into, want to kind of dissect. Uh, and that comment was uh, that was today uh, from a video that I, I posted. Which, if you haven't seen it, please go check out that video. Uh, you know, if you catch this on the replay, check out that video. <laughs> uh, oh, also, I forgot to say that yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and do this live for an hour. So that's that's the goal. So we'll see what happens. But um, but yeah. So the first thing I really want to say. Is it here says next interview, let them know in America we know there's no privacy in public. So, you know, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe this person, this viewer, you know, realize, you know, I'm in the Dominican Republic. Uh, I like the interview. Freddie V. Ah, uh, Freddie V. I appreciate that. Yes. Also, oh yeah, let me mention that as well before I get before I dive into this topic. Um, yes, I did an interview with uh another YouTuber named Time to Expat. Actually, I've done a couple of interviews, but Time to Expat's interview he posted today as well. So check out the interview. I just talked about Dominican Republic and talked about, you know, experiences, blah, blah, blah. Very good interview. Check it out. Anyways, so like I said, this person here, he's talking about, um, it says, next interview, let them know in America. We know there's no privacy in public. So um, here's my my gripe or my kind of issue with that comment. And, and it's kind of, I think there's a, there's a bigger topic to be discussed is that, you know, you know, I, I, you know, like I said, I don't know if you realize I'm not in the United States, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not, I'm not in the U S I'm in the Dominican Republic. So, you know, what's, what's the point? Like why, why, like, why would I tell these women, uh, keep up the, yeah, I appreciate it. Why would I tell these Dominican women, you know, how it is in the U S when that, that, like they, like they've, I don't think they've even been to the United States. I don't like the rules, the laws, the culture, everything. Like, the, why, why does that matter? In my, if you if you see what I'm saying, it's like, like, and and I think some people have this kind of mentality of like, oh, this is how it is in my country, which you know I'm mostly talking about the U.S. because I'm from the U.S. and also most of my viewers are from the U.S. So I have this kind of culture here, and this is okay. We have freedom of speech and X Y Z. I'm not saying that freedom that people don't have freedom of speech here in the Dominican Republic. But I'm just saying. People kind of have this idea of what's okay, and I mean, and in this case, it's specifically related to as it relates to filming, you know, on the street. And people have this idea of what's okay and what's not okay in the U.S. And, but just because that's what it is in the U.S., you know, when you go when you go to a new country, like I said, this is specifically related to filming on the street. But this could be related to anything, to any type of rules or any type of laws, any type of customs. When you come to another country, you have to respect those customs. You have to understand and uh abide by those customs and i mean you don't have to abide by them but if you uh don't abide by them or you don't kind of you know follow those uh, customs then you can expect you know 
some consequences or maybe some repercussions or something like this. So, I, you know, just when, when I saw that, I just felt like that that attitude, which is it's just a very I mean, that's not just from one person. I feel like that's a very common attitude that a lot of Americans have um, oh, no, Americans that we that we have. Um, you know, when, especially when, I mean, it's in the U.S., especially when we travel, that we kind of feel like we're the, the center of the world in some ways. And that, you know, if, if this is how it is in the U.S., then this is how it should be in other places, uh, blah, blah, blah. And, 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 and that's just um, I think that's unfortunate that we, we kind of have that mindset. Um, and also, I mean, and, and I feel like that can get a lot of people into some trouble. For example, this is kind of this is kind of outside the Dominican Republic. But there's a, a famous, well, I don't know, I don't want to say famous, but there's a, a woman, there's a professional female basketball player named Brittany Griner, who's in jail in Russia right now because she was trying to like smoke or rela something related to drugs. And, you know, the rules, you know, <laughs> you know, the rules are a little bit different uh, in Russia than they are in the United States as it relates to like, you know, I don't know if she's marijuana, I don't know what type of drugs she was trying to do, but, you know, and she's in jail, you know right now and people want her to be out but you know when you're in a different when you're in a different country you know it's just like you know you have to respect the rules you have to respect it and and in this case as it relates to filming it's not so much rules but it's just um it's, it's just kind of uh we could say the customs culture understanding and and also i want to say Hmm. If you don't, uh, oh, let, let me. Uh, Corey DDP says, if you don't know the laws, then you deserve to go to jail, especially if there's conflict between two nations. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't, I don't want to say deserve, but if, it, but it, you know, it, as a traveler, I think this is something that maybe not a lot of people talk about. Is that you know, you have to be. I mean, you just have to be smart. You just have to be aware. Being, being, especially when you're traveling, especially in today's age, where you know. Uh, you know, there, you know, a lot, a lot of little things go off, a lot of new rules being created. You know, you have to just be aware and be very conscious of, of how you move and what you're doing in, in different countries. Um, and, and, you know, Dominican Republic is, is no different. And I, I've talked about before how, you know, people or women have stopped me. Uh, well, twice. It happened twice. It doesn't happen all the time. It happened twice. Where women have stopped me when I had my camera out and, and all these things. So I think that, I mean, can well specifically as it relates to the video that I posted today. You know, can you film and whatnot on the street? Yes, you can, and there, and, there, and there's no problem. There's no, it's not illegal. But I'm just saying, if you want to respect the customs, if you want to respect, you know, this specifically, I'm not talking about Dominican Republic culture. I'm just talking about Sasua culture. If you want to respect that, then you know, then you probably won't do that. Now, if you don't care, if you care more about the views, if you care more about uh, yourself and, and all these things, then, you know, then, then do what you got to do. And for me personally, I don't have a problem with that. But, you know, other people might have a problem with that. So, <laughs> so, so, yeah. And, oh, and also I want to get into this. Uh, and then uh, another part of this comment, he says, not to mention, they would probably go home broke if it wasn't for the advertisement for travelers those undercover videos bring. Um. I don't know. I feel like that's debatable. I, I don't. I don't know. I can't. I can't really comment. Uh, I, I honestly, though, I don't know. I feel. I feel like that's. Uh, I feel like that's a debatable. If 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 I were to do it, if I were to do an interview, and I, I I would actually this could be actually I probably won't. I probably won't do this. Oh man. Okay. There we go. Sometimes uh, the you know in Dominican Republic you know you hear a little bit of noises. <laughs> Anyways, but um. But uh, I should, you know, if I were to do another interview, I might ask, you know, which would you prefer, you know, to have this advertisement on YouTube or, you know, less, you know, hidden cameras and whatnot. I'm sure most women would say they would probably prefer uh, less hidden cameras, you know. But, but anyways, that's so that, 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 that was the first thing that I wanted. To, I really want to talk about that comment because it just, you know, that I think there's a level of entitlement. I don't, I don't want to say entitlement, but there's just in the U.S. and even for me, even when I think about, you know, when, like I said, when we travel, you know, we think of ourselves as kind of being the center of the world. When in reality, that's not the case. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, however, and then the uh, another comment that I want to get to is uh, talking about. Um, well, somebody mentioned something about Cuba Day. Uh, somebody mentioned like, oh. Uh, are you trying to be like the next Cuba Dave, or you comment? Or, or I, I don't know exactly. You said something about Cuba Dave, and and first off, 
Uh, hold up. Corey DDP says those women want four thousand a month, so I don't know if they can really complain. <laughs> but I respect their wishes. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Well, and, well, let, let, let me explain. You know, let me explain this. It's, you say those women. Th that was particularly one. Well, that was uh, particularly Stephanie and Sarah. You know, I, I will say this, and this is just coming from uh, my experiences, my conversations. You know, in general, most women are not looking for four K a month. That that's really that's really bloated. That's a really bloated number. I would say in general, if you gave a woman mm, like five hundred dollars a month, I think she'd be pretty happy with that. She she, she could. I, I'm not saying that she's gonna be loyal, but she she she'd be all right. Like most like average Dominican women, you know. If you are, or for example, if you find yourself in a situation where you know, you have, you have a love child, <laughs> you know, you have a love child or something like this, you know what I mean? Typically, you know, $500 a month, you know, mm, uh, that, that, that'll cover it. You, for most Dominican women, I, at least from my experience, from my conversations, just from things that I've, you know, heard, seen, been around and whatnot. So like I said, that 4K number is a very, very bloated number. Um, I don't know. I don't know where she got that number from, but you know, that's, that's her truth, you know? And also another thing before I get into the Cuba Dave thing, you know, um, sometimes, you know, I interview people, I interview some of these, uh, some of these women, uh, especially Sarah, uh, you know, and they, they say, they say, you know, what they want to say. And, you know, I, I don't try to debate them because that's just their truth. That's how they feel, you know? And also my Spanish is not, <laughs> <I'm> not <laughs> my Spanish is not good enough to really, you know, debate people like that but um but uh but that's just you know that's 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 her reality so you know it is what it is but in just uh hold up Corey says the problem with children in that country is there are no laws to protect them gregory lofton says your channel is dope okay well first off gregory lofton i appreciate that your channel is dope and as always to core ddp the problem with children in that country is there are no laws to protect them yeah um I get we I can't really speak on that too much because I don't I don't know, you know, <laughs> I don't know about uh child laws and all these things. But hopefully, you know, the more I stay here in Dominican Republic, you know, the more I'll be able to uncover more information about all that stuff. Uh Edward Jones says, a girl in Sasua told me that she wants a thousand uh six hundred dollars a month to be my girlfriend. Really? Mm. Okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's it. That's that's very interesting. Um, because I mean, well, if you take that four thousand number down to sixteen hundred, then that doesn't sound so bad. But still, sixteen hundred. You know, I mean, when it comes first up, I just want to say when it comes to numbers, you know, if you, if you got it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? You know, what I mean. But uh, my brother, I'm not gonna lie to you. Also, guys, if you haven't watched the podcast, the Sewer Podcast. I would definitely check it out. I'm going to try to put that out like once a month. No, no, not once a month. Once a week on Sundays with my brother. Uh, my brother is Carlo Villas. If you haven't checked out the Sasua podcast, definitely check it out because we were talking about this topic. And my brother had an incredible, a legendary line as it relates to <laughs> talking about what he would, what he accepts and what, what he'll cover and not cover. So definitely check out the Sasua podcast because we talk about this topic. Um, anyways. Uh, you would be stupid pair. I'm her, but I'll do it for her. Uh, a dumb trick is born every day. Trey probably says a dumb trick is born every day. SMH. Uh, yes, 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 and or desperate. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Well, you know, it is, you know, talking about that, it's a, uh, how can I say, you know, I think it's a, it's an interesting topic in just in the sense that I think that, um, how can I say, whether you know whether you have like a like a, a girlfriend, you know whether you're just tricking, if you will, then you know you you're gonna, you're gonna pay either way. And I, I've had you know I can't, I can't I can't really go too deep into it right now, but I've I've had these conversations before in the past with people. You know what I mean? Uh, you know if for example you got you go on a date or whatever. You know some people, not all guys, are like I knew a guy. Uh, I forget. I think his name was Dwayne. I knew a guy in Miami. I knew a guy in Miami and he really, he really, uh, prided himself, prided. I, I don't know. He, he was proud of himself in the sense that he had like, uh, this smooth game and he was, you know, able to get Mac on any woman and, you know, in the, in the Miami beach streets and whatnot. And, and, you know, and like, for example, he, he was about to go out on a date 
Yeah, he was about to go on a date. And I, I was working at a, an ice cream place. Uh, what's it called? I was running Insomnia Cookies. I'm sure you guys see that sometimes I have Insomnia Cookies shirt because I used to work there. Um, and yeah, and and like he went out, I think on his break, he went out to a, to a store to buy a new shirt. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. I was like, hey, well, you got a new shirt. That's great. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm going out on a date. I'm like, oh, okay. And, you know, and like, how much does the shirt cost? The shirt costs fifteen, twenty dollars And then he's like, oh, I'm going on a date. I'm going out to dinner. Oh, you're going to pay for dinner? You know, that's even more money, you know. And then it's like, you know, you, you're going here, you're going there. So, you know, you know, when it comes to that, you know, you're going to pay either way. <laughs> I mean, money, money is going to be spent either way. So, you know, every, you know, obviously... I think the beautiful thing about life, we all have our choices, we have options, but the idea that, you know, mm, uh, hold up, why says any other YouTubers be having chicas like that? Uh, uh, um, Yes, you're paying either way, but it's tricking when you're overpaying. Mm, okay. Now that, that, then that's, okay. Uh, Trey Poppy, we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that topic. Uh, let's see here. But uh, when it comes to why, are there any other YouTubers doing what I do? Well, yeah, I'm sure there are some other YouTubers definitely doing what I do because what I do is not <laughs> is not very unique. Nothing's new under the sun. And also, I, I, I never want to get that. I want to never. I never want to give that impression that I'm trying to be new under the sun. Uh, you know, I watch a lot of videos and I take many things and I try to add it to my videos. So I want to be very clear. Uh, yeah, with that. And also, as it, well, as it relates to Sasua content, um, to say, is there anybody doing what I do in the game right now um, on a consistent basis? Consistently? <laughs> consistently? Um, I don't know. I'm going to let y'all answer that question. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I do know because, I, like I said, I watch a lot of videos and I type in, I look up Sasu a lot, but I'm not going to answer that question myself. You know what I mean? You know, if you, you want to answer that question, but I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to say, I don't want to say anything. And also, but all the, <laughs> on that topic, man, you know, talking about other YouTubers, you know, in the area, you know what I mean? My question is, I want to know, is like, uh, already too many YouTubers on Sasu. That, you know, I will say, um, uh, ba 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 ba. I own Jones. Okay, I do see there's some other comments we're gonna get to, but when it comes to the YouTubers in Sasua, yeah, there are a lot of YouTubers in Sasua, and that's one thing. Well, guys, if you're watching this and you're thinking like, oh, I want to come to Sasua to shoot videos or whatever, I will say that like it's a very saturated market. There are many uh YouTubers, you know, walking, talking, you know, eating, you know, chicken wings, uh you know, X, Y, Z, you know, there are many YouTubers in, in the market. So this is a very saturated area. Um, the fact that people like to watch my videos, I, I don't know. I, it's, it's amazing to me. But uh, but yeah. Anyways, Season Sweat says, GJC, your vlogs are very entertaining and informative for all ages, plus highly refreshing with no cap. Ooh, Season Swag, I appreciate that comment. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, for AV, Tell that to all the men who paid big money from the results of divorce. Okay, whoa, 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 yeah, yeah. Let, let me get back to these. Uh, uh, so yeah, so Trey probably says yes, you paid the way, but it's tricking when you're overpaying. Yes, okay, I definitely, I definitely agree, and I think that's where a lot. Of, and actually, in a in a in a in a in a in an interview, somebody I forget which interview was, but in an interview, somebody asked me like, you know. Uh, are there any big major problems? Have you ever seen any major situations go down here in Chisua, especially in the nightlife? Uh, first off, I want to say I'm not really a nightlife type of person, but typically uh, from just what I've seen online and a couple of different experiences, usually the biggest confrontation, the biggest issues is when there's a, an issue as it relates to, to the exchanges. You know, when when someone thinks their value, is, then they, they think they're more valuable than what somebody else thinks they are. And then, you know, you have these issues, these confrontations and whatnot. So to me, that's kind of the biggest uh, thing. Or when somebody feels like they've been ripped off in some way, that can also be kind of a point of confrontation. So those are typically, I think, probably some of the bigger issues here in Susu is just somebody, a guy feeling ripped off in some way, like, you know, things didn't really go as he thought that they were supposed to go. Or a woman feeling like, you know, mm, she just got the 40, you know, if we will. <laughs> Uh, so, so yeah, but anyways, bah, 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 bah. it would be cheap. Okay. Freddie V this is okay. Freddie V. This is a very interesting, uh, 
It says it would be cheaper just to marry the woman. Um, that's that's highly debatable. <laughs> I think that's very very highly debatable because, like uh, somebody commented, divorce is a real thing. I don't know. I don't know the exact. I don't know the exact numbers, the percentages of divorce, particularly in the U.S. But uh, divorce rates are high. You know, you, you could flip a coin, and you know, you know, things things could not go well. So you know, I, I I do understand that the idea maybe it might seem cheaper, you know, at the moment possibly. And you know, and like I said, you know, it maybe you know you have that. You know, like I said, you you flip a coin. You know, maybe it goes very well for you. It goes very smoothly. You know, she has a job. You have that modern, that modern type relationship. She's working. You're working. You know, you're putting everything into it together. You know, you're in it forever. All these type of things. And if that goes well for you, then yeah. And, and technically, in some ways, it, it could be cheaper just to, you know, do that. You know, settle down. You know what I'm saying? Or I don't even say even just settle down. Maybe you travel with the chick, uh, you know, travel with the chica, if you will. And things could go well. And, and maybe that would be cheaper. But Unfortunately, the reality is that, uh, you know, typically life does not work like Disney movies. You know, a lot of people, even myself, you know, I loved watching Disney movies when I was a kid. You know what I mean? But typically most relationships um, don't don't always end <laughs> uh, happily, if we will. So you definitely have to be careful. I mean, anyways, uh, bah, 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 Freddie B, tell that. To, uh, have you been to Punta Cana? Uh, Todd Kelly. Uh, I mean, in my life, yes, I have been to Putacana. I have not been to Putacana recently. Um, I was thinking about going, but I had some, I had some issues. But uh, but yeah, I'm thinking about going to Putacana. I'm also thinking about going to Boca Chica. Oh, I, I want to interview somebody from Boca Chica. There was a, a guy I, I was supposed to message. I forgot about. It. Anyways, um, but yeah, I, I haven't. To, to be honest with you, I haven't really been done. I have not done too much as relates. Really, uh, in the, I haven't done too much in the South of Dominican Republic. So that's definitely an area that I want to explore. I think right now I'm just trying to, you know, there's so much, there's so much here in the North when it comes to Puerto Plata, when it comes to um, Sisua. I haven't even been, I haven't, I have not even touched Caborete yet. So there's a lot uh, of just a lot that I want to, you know, kind of unpack and uncover here, but definitely going to, um, Going to the south of the Dominican Republic, like Boca Chica, La Romana, uh, San Pedro de Macorís, uh, these places is definitely uh, on on the to do list. Um, bah, 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 bah. Talk, is it better than Susu? Okay, yeah, I can't. Uh, why? It turns out I'm never getting married. Aha, Susu of the move. Okay, why? It says turns out I'm never getting married. Susu of the move, and that's a very good question because actually today, well, if you guys haven't watched the interview. You should go to uh, Time to Expat's channel, um, Time to Expat, and he, he interviewed me today. And that was actually one of the questions he asked me. He said, can you find real love in Sisua? So one thing I want to say about that is that can you find love in Sisua? I mean, uh, yes, in some ways. Now, now you now you're saying, Jamal, hey, that's crazy. You're talking crazy. Um, no, no, no. So can you can you find love? So you're talking about with a specific woman, with one woman? I would say probably not. But can you love the game? You know what I mean? Can you love the lifestyle here in Jesua? I would say yes. <laughs> yeah, I was. I think a lot of guys love the lifestyle. I think a lot of brothers. Uh, I mean, brothers, just men, guys in general, love the lifestyle. You know what I mean? You're. Uh, it's a small place, so you're able to really uh, be in uh, uh, you're in high communication. With a lot of uh, a lot of other travelers, which is really awesome. Obviously, the chicas are uh, here, so you're able to dip, dibble dabble, you know, dibble dabble, ripple rabble, you know, and <laughs> and all of that and whatnot. So, to be honest with you, I think that can you find love? Maybe not the love that you know, like I said, not maybe not that Disney style type love, but can you find a love in a in a type of lifestyle and a way of living? I, I would say yes, no doubt. Um, season swag says. GJC, uh, you're uh, you're a subject matter expert on island life culture. I remember you and your brother vlogs from several years ago. Okay, yeah, yes, yes, that's true, that's very true. And also, I appreciate you. I appreciate you mentioning my brother, Season Swag. When I say my brother, I'm talking about my real brother. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, yeah, we we did make a video. Well, I, 
was, I made the video, but my brother was just, he was, he was in it. Um, and yeah, we, we did that. And yeah, and obviously, you know, how can I say, I've had kind of like an, uh, after I left Dominican Republic, you know, the eight or nine years ago, it was uh, like, I had like kind of a journey, like a Odysseus, <laughs> like the Odyssey. <laughs> and a long journey to get back here, but I'm very happy to be back. And uh, yeah, I feel like I'm I'm doing uh, like what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm doing what I should have been doing for a long time. So I, I appreciate you uh, checking out uh, those old videos. Mm, Ion Jones says, do not fall for women in Susua point blank. Edward Jones says, Boca Chica is a small version of Susua and the hustling there is just as bad or worse. Mm, okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Like I said, I, I, would, I really... I'm interested, like, and, you know, and a lot of people, uh, one thing I want to kind of uh, uh, get, oh, I forgot to talk about Cuba Dave. I forgot about that part. We're, we're, we're going to, we're going to get to that, uh, the, the, to the Cuba Dave thing. I forgot about that. Anyways, um, uh, but the one thing I want to say is that, you know, some people have been saying, oh, Jamo, you know, when are you going to travel to Colombia? When are you going to travel to Brazil? Um, I Like, for me, you know, I definitely want to go to those places eventually. I think I've said this before, but to me, there's just there's so much here in in well here in Sasua. There's so much here in Dominican Republic, and, you know. And for me, just my personality, I'm the type of guy that I like to really kind of you know try to delve as deep as I can in one place. You know, before I decide to go to another, and you know that's and everyone has kind of a different different style. You know, I know some people. Oh, some YouTubers or just travelers in general, maybe they don't do YouTube. They like to try to hit as many places as they, as they can, hit as many different countries as they can. You know, I want to go to each country, you know, before, you know, my time is up. So, but for me, I'm not really that way. For me, I really like to be in one country and just, you know, just really trying to, uh, really try to uh, dive deep in that country you know, before I decide to move uh, to another place. So, but anyways. Um, bah, 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 bah. yeah, I love the game. That's what that's what I mean. <laughs> yes. Uh, LB so wavy uh, says I plan on staying in New Garden Hotel in Tsua. How much are pesos when I'm already there and not have to order through online? Uh, okay, so the peso to dollar ratio. Uh, well, to be honest, it's kind of difficult because you know I just use pesos. I don't, I don't even have dollars. But uh, but I, I believe well. I, let, uh, I mean, usually, for example, if if I go to Playero, well, let me, oh, let me uh, if I go to Playero, so Playero is a supermarket here in Sasua. So if you go to Playero, usually it's between like uh, like fifty a, a dollar, is like like fifty or fifty two pesos, a dollar to like fifty or fifty two pesos. That's typically what I see in Playero, which is the major supermarket here um in Sasua. So that's that's kind of what I can say about that. Like but like I said, when it comes to currency for the I mean, I just use pesos. I I mean, you know, I make my money online. I just you go to the go you know, go to the uh cajero automatico or the ATM and that, that's just what I do, but but yeah. Okay, but very good. Uh Leslie Walker says you can't compare Boca Chica, Boca Chica to Sasua. No way. Mm, okay. I, well, for me, I can't compare because I, I haven't been to, but well, have I? Maybe in the past, but I haven't been in a long time. So, uh, but I definitely, and also, uh, guys, if you know any any YouTubers in the Boca Chica area who you know who you know feel like are pretty good, because I definitely want to interview uh, somebody because that's, that's an uh, that's an area I haven't been to yet, but you know I feel like it, it, I think it would be worth talking to somebody who's there right now or who's been there for. Uh, a minute, uh, or who knows about it to 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 put that on the channel. So I think that would be very informative. So if you if you guys know somebody, please feel free to drop a name. I might try to to contact them for sure. All right. Anyways, uh, uh, wake up, my friend. You need some schooling from the OGs. Uh, it varies from the rate you can exchange money right down from New Garden at a good rate. Okay, Edward Jones says, I'm a man and you're a woman, and you think that we're going to see IDA on this topic. Uh, Leslie Walker, oh, I, I, I don't know, Leslie, I think, uh, I, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna get into that, anyways. Uh, most of you just have some crazy advice. Uh, yeah, I don't know, well. I can't speak for most uh, YouTubers, but I can just say for me, I try to give, you know, sound advice. Just I, I can say I just try to speak from experience. That's that's the only advice. I have. Now, because I know some people, I, can say, I just try not to be preachy. I just try to speak from experience. And that's it. But anyways, uh, why you guys are kind of going back and forth. 
I wanted to talk about the uh, the comment as it relates to the Cuba Dave. I think somebody mentioned that uh, think like I'm gonna like I'm trying to be like the next Cuba Dave or something like that. And to be honest with you, before I read that comment like two days ago, I had no idea who this person was. <laughs> I had no idea. But I uh, but just to talk about him a little bit, uh, basically. Uh, Cuba Dave was a traveler in Costa Rica, and he really, really went hard as it relates to talking about uh, working women in Costa Rica. And also, I also I, I saw online um, that he I don't know if it's true. But I just saw I just read this online that he like was he was like um, like he stimulated like 40 percent of the income for working women in Costa Rica or something, something, something crazy like that, which is my that's mind boggling. I think that's crazy. And I mean, and obviously, you know, that's, you know maybe uh, a dark profession or something like that, but to be able to generate that much money in one profession is, I mean, that's better than, than some governments to be honest with you. But anyways, um, but, uh, but yeah, but somebody said like, oh, you kind of seem like this. I, I just want to be very, very clear that uh, my focus is not solely like on, on working women. I try to have a very holistic approach to what I do. Obviously right now I'm in Sasua. So yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, I use my photography, uh, you know, I talk, uh, you know, I use my photography to take pictures. And obviously, you know, you want to take pictures of you know, beautiful looking women or just beautiful looking scenery. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I go to the beach and all these things. And also, if you go on my blog, you'll notice that I post a lot, a lot of different type of pictures, obviously, of the, of the girls I work with, but also just of Susua and many other things. So I really try to have a more holistic approach to, to what I do. And also, as it relates to my vlogs, you know. I try to show a little bit of the food and and especially if you look at if you watch my videos before I was here in Sasua, you know, obviously I try to just try to talk about talk a little bit about the food, a little bit about the culture, like gentrification. Uh, I've talked about race. So I try to talk about many different things. Obviously, here in Sasua, <laughs> a big part of the life uh, are the chicas. So that, you know, that, you know, life, you could say art reflects life in some ways. So, yeah, it was kind of what I show. Right now, is is a lot. A lot of it is about the and to be honest, a lot of that is interesting to me as it relates to dating, um, and all these different things. And it's interesting to a lot of people. So, but I just want to be very clear that you know, <laughs> I'm really, really not trying to be like the next uh, Cuba Dave because uh, actually, uh, like I said, if you guys don't know, he actually went to jail, I think, for 15 months uh, in Costa Rica because they had created like I, I think it was before him, but they created a law where it's like basically they said you cannot promote. Um, how can I say? You basically, can't promote working women, um, and obviously he was doing that, so they ended up putting him in jail. So, mm, no, nah, I'm not trying to not trying to go down that route <laughs> at all. Oh, anyways, Trey probably says, uh, "What type of work do you do to maintain yourself financially?" Um, that's a good question. And LB so what he says, uh, like example, when I'm on Expedia, New Garden Hotel for five days, it's like 200 something. But when I'm already there, I'm paying way less. It's just like, uh, okay. Okay. All right, cool. Well, Trey Puppy, uh, first off, um, the work I do, I just I teach English online and also um, uh, YouTube, just YouTube things, which obviously, I mean, when you say YouTube, YouTube can be, um, uh, you know, from the views, from things I sell, which I, I mean, I just sell numbers. <laughs> That's the only thing I sell right now are just numbers. But uh, but yeah, from that, uh, also, you know, super chats as well. So you know, if anybody wants a super chat, yeah, that's also uh, something that <laughs> brings in a little income. But but yeah, but um, but those, so those that's that's really that's really it, to be honest with you. Uh, anyways, uh, I own just says go to the Sioux, get good food, learn the culture, go to the beach, uh, come back home, point blank. I don't feel anything. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Just go and we're like, yeah, no, definitely. Well, I mean, for me, I mean, I do agree that, you know, you can, you know, kind of say have a discreet time, just have a relaxed time. For me, I mean, I'm a videographer. That's a part, that's, that's a part when, when people ask me, like, what do you do? I tell them I'm an English teacher and I'm a, and I'm a videographer. So obviously for me, I'm always, I'm always going to be filming because that's just what I do. But, uh, but yeah, I, but it is, I think it is important to definitely film respectfully. And, uh, and yeah, I feel like, I feel like, uh, I, I could say one thing that I am happy about, I feel like, you know, since I have been here in the Sioux, for the most part, maybe with the exception of a few videos, I have filmed pretty respectfully and been pretty, you know, upfront with people that I'm working with. So I feel pretty, uh, I can say, happy about that. 
Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, and and also uh, I'm trying to think, mm, what else I really want to come on and say. But <laughs> that's, that's really that's really it uh, that I wanted to say just about the Cuba Dave thing and my, about that uh, comment. Mm, also, also one thing I want to say. There's something that was kind of like uh, I guess uh, percolating on my mind. It's talking about uh, you know how many subs do you need to have a TV show? <laughs> Here, I'm not going to mention any names, but uh, there, there there is somebody who has a TV show. Uh, I, I'm not going to say the name of the show, but if you know, if you know, if you follow, if you follow the, the Sasua YouTube sphere, then you know. And uh, uh, it was, oh, one moment. LB so wavy says any exotic car rentals in the Sasura area if I decide to rent a car. Exotic car rentals? Uh I don't well, I, I haven't done any renting of cars at all. However, now one person that well, maybe I should. I, I know someone who uh rents a lot of cars. So if you're interested, please feel free to message me. Actually, let, let me put let me put in my, my Instagram name. Uh, yeah, that's my Instagram Instagram name, Jamo Khan. And yeah, you can definitely message me and ask me about that. And because, like I said, I don't have a lot of information about that, but I do know someone who knows a lot about renting cars uh, here. Well, in the Puerto Plata, Sasua area. So you can always reach me at my Instagram. Uh, David James says, "How can I meet other guys to travel with? Are there any Facebook groups?" Okay, that's very good. Well, I mean, they. David James, I don't know exactly what's your ethnicity, uh, but but uh, but I will say that yeah, there's definitely a Sasua uh, Facebook group. If you type in like uh, I don't know Sasua Sasua group or something, there's a Sasua group uh, on Facebook. Um, and then there also, well, like I said, the reason I mentioned ethnicity because there's also a group called the Black Man's Option as well, which I'm I'm in that group, uh, and so that's also a possibility. But that's that's why I said I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's a, I don't know if that's a possibility or not, but um, but yeah, but and but but yeah, there's definitely some different groups outside of those two groups that I mentioned. I don't know about any other Sasua groups, um, but uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah, but also one thing I will say though about you know coming here to Sasua is that you know I would say if you're worried about like being around other people or like being in a group, I would say it's really not that big a deal because there are a lot of other solo travelers that come here. There are a lot of other travelers who just come, you know, in twos or threes and uh, two or three, you know, just guys. So to me, I think it's very, very easy to meet new people. It's very, very easy to, uh, you know, to, to talk and have conversations with different brothers. You know what I mean? So if, if you're concerned about like, Oh, I need to go with a group or I need to go with some guys, then, I, I, I can say just in my experience, I would say that's, that, that shouldn't be a concern. If you really want to come here, then you should, you know, you can come solo and definitely meet other people. It's very, I, I mean, for me, well, obviously, <laughs> obviously, uh, with as it relates to my situation, you know, because I am making videos, people recognize me a lot. So they, they say hello to me. But uh, but in general, though, I would say it's very, very easy to meet. And uh, meet new friends. I mean, I mean, that sounds like a, a middle, school, like an elementary school. But it's easy to, to meet new people, and you know, chop it up with with whoever. So, I, like I said, I wouldn't even, I would not be wor too worried about coming in groups and, and whatnot. Uh, LB Wavy says, uh, I can speak a little bit of Spanish from what I learned from school, but do the women out there speak English when it's necessary? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, LB so wavy. Uh, yeah. So that's a good point. And oh, well, actually, I'm very glad, wavy, uh, that you mentioned that because I want, I want to, I want to, I want to make some, uh, some clarifications on my video that I made about. I think I called it loneliness in Sasua. I want to talk about that. But anyways, uh, but yeah, yeah, uh, wavy. If you speak a little bit of Spanish, then you, I think you'll definitely be all right. And when it comes to the to the chicas, most chicas, uh. No, how can I say? I don't want to say they speak English, but they know enough. You know what I mean? That things can go smoothly. You know, if you're if you're looking for a simple time, then then they they speak a, enough basic level of English that you'll be able to enjoy yourself and you'll be able to you know communicate what you need to communicate. Um, so I really wouldn't worry too much about that because obviously, I mean, you know, obviously, you know, when it comes to making money and paper and what and whatnot, you know, obviously people people will speak that language, <laughs> whatever whatever language it is. 
people are going to figure out how how to speak that. So, so yeah. But anyways, uh, David James says, okay, thank you so much. I just created Facebook. Hopefully, they get my request. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. It's um, like I said, it's very easy. And like I said, a lot, a lot, of, a lot of people are very helpful and have a lot of information um, on that. Uh, Mickey Ramirez says, what's the prices of the girls over there? Now, you see, now you, now I, I mentioned Cuba Dave earlier, and this is this is something, you know, I think that's a Cuba Dave question that he would probably answer very, <laughs> very easily, very openly. You know, right now uh, on this live stream, I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. But I do appreciate the question, but uh, maybe for a later time. Uh, Jay North says, can I get two two hose? Uh, if you're talking about like a water hose, that's possible. <laughs> I don't just says, um, if a chica talks dollars to you, I would avoid her. She wants too much money for a date. Mm, okay. That's interesting. Most of the girls that, well, I say most of the girls that I hang out with that I really, really hang out with, most of them are, I'm not going to say, most of our conversations most of our conversations are in pesos. However, something I will say to that point that I own, I think I own Jones just mentioned is that, you know, Dominican Republic is very Americanized. You know, obviously we live in a globalized world. So, I mean, it is pretty common for, you know, women to, to mention dollars or because, well, because if they think you're a foreigner, they, they try to be more accommodating to what you know. So, I mean, I, I have found that, a lot, I mean, a lot of women, We'll, we'll mention dollars in some ways because, they, like I said, they try to be accommodating to, to what you understand and what you know. Mm, da, 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 da. Uh, it says, okay, I've been on the apps that you yeah, teach you another English. Which I create time just in case. Uh, yeah, well, talking about apps, I would definitely say that um, Tandem. Actually, let, let me let me write that down. Uh, tandem is a really great app. Um that I use to practice English with other people. And also, um, I don't know, I, I, I've really been thinking about this and you guys can let me know what you think, but I'm really thinking about, um, you know, some of the girls that I work that, you know, uh, are in my videos. Um, I'm really thinking about trying to see if they'd be interested in teaching Spanish. Cause obviously a lot of guys, well, a lot of guys are already interested in some of the girls I work with, like Stephanie, well, hold on, <laughs> let me stretch that. Not, not Stephanie, maybe it's Stephanie, but not, not Stephanie, but, um, I'm really think I'm really interested in uh, and and trying to see if they might be interested in teaching Spanish because I think that could be a great connect because obviously there are a lot of guys here are coming to Sua who are really interested um, in learning a little bit of Spanish and I, I think you know that could be that could be a very good very good idea so because if you it, well now or even and later you know if you're really thinking about learning Spanish please feel free to message me on my on my uh, Instagram or something like that and yeah I'm gonna try to connect yeah try to connect you know. People with with uh, let's say local Dominicanas with foreigners who are interested in learning, I, th I think that could be a good thing. So uh, let me know. Anyways, uh, blah, 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 blah. it says only talk pesos with the chica, so you won't be taking advantage. Yeah, Ion Jones, I I agree. No, Joe, I, I'm getting confused. I'm just saying that I think a lot of women they mention dollars because they think that's what you know. But I do agree with you 110 percent. That you should just speak in pesos, talk in pesos, so things don't go, don't, things don't go awry. You know that exchange rate doesn't. You know, uh, they like you said, they don't try to take advantage of you. I agree with that 110. Uh, percent Mickey Ramirez says, "What's a good budget for a week in Sasua?" Um, that's slightly difficult for me to answer because I mean, because you know, for me. You know, what I mean, like I really I kind of I, I've been here for a long time. I don't want to say a long time, but I've stayed here for an extended amount of time. So my week might be very, very different than if you're just coming here for a literal week, you know, just to just to, to vacation. But in general, if you're coming here for a week, um, I mean, and you're trying to like, you know, do the most. I mean, I would say. I don't know, like, I think if you, if you have like if you bring like two, two thousand dollars. You should be all right. Maybe, yeah, you should, you should. I think you'll be all right. Like, if you're just trying to do the most, like, you're just trying to, like, go crazy, do the most, I, I think 2K, you'll, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Okay. Um, David Jer, uh, says flights are $2,000 on Google. Really? Well, where are you? I don't know exactly where you're flying from, but um, 
But yeah, I, I have heard that flights, uh, the prices for flights have increased dramatically, um, just related to things happening in the world, you know, the economy, um, you know, other things happening in the world. So um, I have heard, yes, I've heard that. I mean, that's not super surprising that flights could be uh, expensive. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Well, let's keep it day day one dollars, which is more money in the pocket. Uh, I have a flight that is less than a thousand for a round trip. Do you, uh, Corey DB said, Do you use a VPN? No, I do not use a VPN, even though maybe I should because <laughs> there, uh, there are some things that you know, like I can't, uh, they're, 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 you know, that that's one thing when we talk about like negatives and the positives, the negatives of living in Dominican Republic, that's maybe one negative because sometimes there are some sites that. I can't really uh, reach or, for example, like I don't I don't know. Mm, I don't know if this is VPN related, but like on my Netflix, um, like there's some movies I've wanted to watch or like some shows I've wanted to see. And like they have the original language, which is well, usually Japanese. And then they have Spanish. But not English. <laughs> so that that has been annoying. So I don't know if that's something that if that's like a VPN issue, then maybe maybe I can. Uh, I can, I can, uh, maybe I should try to, uh, I don't know, fix that. Anyways, uh, Atlanta, really? $2,000 from Atlanta. Okay. Wow. Uh, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, like I said, you know, just the, uh, the, the rise of flights, uh, the increasing, uh, cost of flights is, I think, kind of been going up, up, uh, up and up kind of exponentially over the past couple of months. All right, many minutes. Uh, but what you got to come out of your Disney World life? I'm telling you how it is. Uh, less than a thousand. It says, uh, I am planning on bringing maybe 200 to 500, basically, which is 2,000 pesos. So, that so would that be enough for a week? Like, um, yeah, I mean, yes, that is enough. It, like I said, it just depends on what you're trying to do. It just, like I said. That's an, that's enough for like a regular week and you just wanted to chill and just relax and just, you know what I mean, get on the lawn chair and just uh, sit on the beach, then yes. But if you're trying to uh, get, you know, get, get into the nightlife, <laughs> if you're trying to, you know, get that action, um, I don't know. May, that, may, it might not be enough. It might not. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm going to let my hair down. Hello. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go crazy. Oh well, and you see that's a good comment. You know that's what I'm saying. If you're trying to if you're trying to let your hair down, trying to go crazy, then you know. Five, five, I'm just gonna say this: if you come here for a week and you're trying to go crazy, five hundred dollars is not enough. You're gonna need more. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna need more money, no doubt. Um, Michael says my flight was thirteen hundred. I'm coming from California and it's round trip. Okay, interesting. Uh, this is summer tourist season price go up plus world affairs going on. Yeah. And also like, for example, I know, uh, Memorial day is, uh, this is this weekend. So a lot, a lot of brothers are coming down. So, mm -hmm. uh, it is even, I learned the uh, hard way when I was in Maine, Colombia, uh, Darwin Alf Alfaro says, what are the best night spots in Sasua? That's a very good question. And as I've said before, and as you'll notice in most of my videos, most of my videos are not in the nighttime because, well, first off, usually I'm working in the night. I teach English online. Usually I'm teaching England, teaching at night. Uh, but from what I've heard and just eh, just from what I've seen uh, right now, Playa Chiquita is kind of the spot to be. Obviously, Roombas is always uh, is a cool spot. But yeah, I would say in general, Playa Chiquita, uh, which is, I mean, it's kind of in the Sasua area. It's a little bit. Playa Chiquita is kind of like its own little neighborhood but there's a casino over there and that's kind of you know that's the hot spot if you will so so yes but let me see here in july should i go to tijuana or sasua um rc I, i've never been to tijuana actually i would love to go to tijuana myself so but i cannot unfortunately i can't really uh i cannot dig too deep into that question because i, I can't compare those two Cause I don't know. I mean, I will say though, in Tijuana, I mean, well, I mean, you know, you, you gotta be careful wherever you go. But you know, when it's it's very interesting. Like I said, I've I've been I've I have I've wanted to go to Tijuana in Mexico for a while. But whenever I look up Tijuana in YouTube, I just type in Tijuana Mexico. 
I'm always seeing some news stories about, you know, some homicides or something drug related or, you know, something always very serious when I look up uh, Tijuana, Mexico uh, on in, on YouTube. So I, I've, I've, that's kind of deterred me from really wanting to, you know, to try it out. But uh, and, and obviously when you come uh, when it comes to Sasua, you know, it's a very in general, it's very relaxed, very chilled. You really don't have to worry about too much. Uh, good call, Mike. Book early. Uh, da, 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 da. You go to Mexico. Uh, Corey DDP says, uh, "Have I gone? Yes, I ha- actually I have traveled to Mexico many many years ago. I was in Mexico. You know, as a teenager, I went. I was in. Uh, I went to Cuernavaca one time, and another time I went to Cancun. But just you know, family vacation. So." No, Mexico. It was uh, it was good. It was good. Um, go to Chiquito Casino. Mexico would be cheaper. That's true. Uh, what's a really good restaurant to take a large group of twelve to fifteen guys? Oh my goodness, going in deep. Um, gosh, I don't even know. I mean, I could just go to the beat. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good. I, I have to. I would have to do some investigating on that one because. Uh, well, first off. Like I said, and also, guys, you might hear some noise. It's raining right now. So, you know, you get in that 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 ASMR of Sasua right now. So it's raining a little bit. But anyways, um, well, one place I will recommend, and I'm just I'm recommending this place not because I've been there, but just because, you know, another brother, you know, trying to build a business. Uh, where's let me type this in. Uh, where's Brooklyn? Uh, where's Brooklyn at is a restaurant. I think it's relatively new here in Sasua. And uh, yeah, it, I, I've been inside the place because I was doing a video. Uh, well, I didn't make the video, but I was helping somebody make the video. Uh, and it's and it's a pretty good it's a pretty good space. You know, uh, good walkability. Uh, once I walk, I mean, you can walk around. You know, dance a little bit. You know, it's a it's a it's a lounge area. So I would definitely recommend uh, where's Brooklyn at. Uh, just cause not, not like I said, I haven't been there actually at night, but just, you know, I've seen it. It looks, it looks all right. Um, go to big mama's on the beach. Great food. The best. Uh, LB. So wave says, have you ever been to Santana barbershop? I heard there's one, uh, in Susua, the main ones in Santa, I think Santiago. Um, yeah, yeah. So I have, I have actually is very funny. <laughs> Actually, I want to do a video uh, at uh, Santana Barbershop. But really, uh, to be honest with you, man, to, to be 110% honest with you, man, like on a regular basis, I'm not really trying to go to a barbershop where there's a bunch of, you know, twerking going on. I don't know. I mean, so, for some guys, I mean, I guess they like that. For me personally, um, you know, I, I just want to, if, I, if I'm going to get my hair cut, I just want to go to a, bar, a regular barbershop. I mean, here's some conversation in the background. You know, what I mean, nice cut. You know, bada bing, bada boom. That's it. You know, that's that's really all I'm looking for. I'm not. I don't need the extra. I don't need. I don't need the extra because that's also extra in the price. Uh, you gotta give a little tip to the ladies. You know, uh, so in general, if I just you now, obviously, if I'm trying to have fun, if I'm trying to do something a little bit special, you know, maybe I'll go to Santana. But in general, you know, that's not not my thing. Not my thing at all. Mm, so they, they can cut hair. So can, but I will say, though, I mean, as it relates to the Santana Barbershop that I've passed through here, here in Sasua, uh, to be honest with you, usually I don't see too much twerking going on. Uh, our, a lot of activity. Usually I, I just see a couple guys, you know, th- th- with the haircuts. I've seen some female barbers there as well, just, just when I pass by. Um, but yeah, and also the girls there that I, you know, that I will, the girls that I've seen in some videos and also that I've seen there, I mean, I mean, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to, to judge or anything like that, but, you know, let, let's just say, I feel like, you know, if, if you're comparing Santana's girls versus, you know, the ladies in my videos, you know, I, I could, how can I say, I feel like, you know, mine are a little bit better, but anyways, uh, well, let me see here. Let's get back to the uh, yoga flip flops bar. Oh yeah, flip flops. But but the thing though is, he said uh, mentioned twelve to fifteen guys. That's 
I think flip flops is not that big. I mean, I don't think flip flops is that big of a place to host 12 to 15 guys at once. I don't know. That's that's just, that's a question. Um, Atrail says the Morena girl in the green bikini in the picture is she your own personal or she can or can she be found in Zua? Uh, her IG or Facebook. Okay, Atrail, that's a those are all very good questions. And I think I've said this before, guys. I don't know the girls in my videos. Yeah, I, I don't know their, their their Instagram, their Facebook. It's it's not like it's not, I don't I, like and, and also just in general like it's it's uh, the, uh, talking about culture and like in the U.S. is very common. You ask Instagram, may, I don't think people ask for people's Facebook anymore, but you might ask for the Instagram very quickly. Here it's more about WhatsApp. You get their number and boom. Which so Atro, if you're interested in uh, the well, the green bikini, which is her name is Anna. Um, I do have her WhatsApp number. Which, if you are interested in that, then you can, you know, go through the proper channels, which would be my Cash App, <laughs> and I can send you her number. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, but when it comes to Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff, I don't, I don't even, I don't even really want to. I don't. For me, even if they had an Instagram, I wouldn't even want to see it. So that's, that's kind of how that is. Um, I thought uh, Corey DDP says I thought there were many places that. We prefer U.S. currency over the Dominican peso. Mm, okay. When it, when it comes to currency, I'm not an expert. Um, uh, I don't know. Bailey is okay, but overpriced for the food that you get. You can get more any place else. I don't advise there. Okay. Yeah, to me, Bailey seems more of like kind of like a hangout spot. Uh, I haven't actually tried the food, but um, it just seems more like a place to hang, just a popular place to hang out. And I mean, obviously, I see a lot of... Um, nice looking women there uh, as well so it seems like a, to me more like a, a hangout spot than the best place to go eat anyways mm, but how how but how about the strip club nightlife are and this is a, this is a legitimate question are there any strip clubs in Sasua? I, I haven't i haven't i've never heard of any strip clubs here in, here in Sasua. so i don't even i don't even know if that's a thing and that's a, that's a question to the group i, I really don't know um, you guys can feel free to hit me up for more info if you like. Have fun. Uh, hold on, hold on. the question. Ah, uh, oh, 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 yeah, 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 oh, yeah, man. Atrail, no problem. Yeah, man. Atrail, you know, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, but yeah, Atrail, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know. There's there's a I don't, I don't want to say this is a mantra, but it's a motto. You know what I mean? You know she's not your girl. It's just your turn. You know what I mean? So and, and I use that also applying to my own life. You know when it comes to these girls, you know what I mean I, I really appreciate what they do. You know what I mean I appreciate you know everything, but you know it's just it's just your turn. It's just my turn. Your turn. His turn. All that. So you know you're not stepping on any toes over here. But anyways, um, I haven't heard about children in the middle of the period, so I was curious about that. Uh, it used to be called Passions and CMP back in the days. Yeah, man, I, I don't, I don't know, I don't, I, I at least for me, I, I mean, but obviously I'm not, um, I'm not really like a, a strip club connoisseur, if you will. But uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about any strip clubs. And like somebody, uh, uh, like somebody mentioned. Something about being in your room. Yeah, man. Here, here in the suit, you know, you really, the party, you know, people talk about where should I go to party? You know, the real party is, is you know, is, is in the villa, is in your casa, you know, and that's, that's, that's where the really party, that's where the real party takes place. So, you know, talking about um, going here, going there, blah, blah, you know, for me, I've, I've never really been too super interested in that. Uh, it was great in the day, but no mas. Hmm, where do I exchange cash or pesos without getting ripped off? Um, King Sports Bar can handle large groups for, for dining. Uh, bring it back. Uh, I know it's in your crib, but I like to actually venture out, then bring them back. Okay. Uh, oh, 80 Truth. Oh, 80 Truth. I appreciate the five dollar uh super chat. I appreciate that. It says you haven't found a permanent house yet. Uh, that's a very good, uh, well, that's not really a question. It's more of like a comment. But anyways, when it comes to like uh, living, um, you know, 
for me, you know, I, I'm very fluid. You know, I'm very, very fluid. So usually, for the most part, I usually just rent like Air, Airbnbs for a month. And then I decide, you know, do I want to stay here? Do I want to go there? So for me, I'm very, very fluid because, you know, even though I've been here, well, actually, well, for, uh, for this is a good example. Last month, actually, I was in Puerto Plata. I was staying in Puerto Plata. This month, I'm staying in Sasua. Next month, I will be staying in Sasua. But, you know, in July, I could be somewhere else. So, you know, uh, where I go, you know, which city I'm in is very fluid. So for me, I'm not really trying to necessarily, you know, lock down one place. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to commit, if you will. Uh, I heard it's a supermarket that sells American products that can exchange uh, dollars for Bezos. Okay. All right. Very good. Yeah. I don't like Playero could be a good place. Um, super. Oh, when it comes to supermarkets in Sasua, there's um, uh, there's a, a Pola, Super Supermercado Pola. Uh, so when it comes to super supermarkets here in Sasua, you're probably talking about Pola or Playero. Either one of those two. Uh, I go down from New Gardens to Cash Exchange. Uh, Greg F said, "There's a strip club in Anvi. Lots of American girls in there dancing. It tripped me out. Oh, for real? Okay, that's interesting. I, I, I know, I know that. Uh, do you know of any good restaurants in Cabarete or Puerto Plata? Um, well, in Puerto Plata, no." No, no, no. I I stayed in Puerto Plata for a month, but for real, like, for for the most part, I eat. Uh, what can I say? And I talked about this with Dog Team, Dog Team Productions. You know, there's a big difference between like, um, kind of, you know, the the lifestyle uh, of an expat lifestyle versus a uh, because like a tourist lifestyle, and, and and maybe maybe not even that. For me personally, I just don't go out that much right? to go out to eat. Only times I go out. Is if you know if I call a girl and like, hey, let's go out to get a drink or something like that. But for real, for real, I, I, I'm not going to too many, uh, too many restaurants. I'm very, very basic. But anyways, um, King of Diamonds, Sasua is a strip club that recently opened. Okay, Greg Roy, yeah, I've heard of King of Diamonds. Um, I haven't gone there, but yeah, I, yeah, I have heard that King of Diamonds recently opened. I did hear about that. Uh, Gucci Cano, so tell us about the girls in Santo Domingo. There's not there's not a lot to say. <laughs> there, there's not a lot to say, even though what one thing I always have one t- one time in Santo Domingo, I, I let's just say I had an I had an invitada, which invitada means a guest. So I had a guest over uh, when I was in Santo Domingo, and it was really strange because um, well actually before she even got there. Like there was a storm. I forget the name of the storm, but it was kind. Of, it was a big storm for Dominican Republic. It was kind of like a big storm, and but eventually she came, and she came through like some taxi. It wasn't Uber exactly, but it was kind of like a Dominican Uber service. But when it was time for her to go, um, like uh, when it was time for her to go, uh, like the storm was so big and the storm, you know, it was so heavy that there weren't any taxis available for her to, you know, for her to get out of my place. So it, you know that was. Very strange experience. <laughs> that was a very strange experience. Uh, just hanging out with somebody for an extended amount of time that you really don't want to be hanging out with, <laughs> hanging out with like that in your room. It was very weird. But anyways, um, strip clubs are whack. San Domingo is nice. You have to go to the house of the houses of the night. The houses of the night. Are you talking about the 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 casa casasitas casa. Casas, casas de citas. Mm, okay. Okay. Interesting. No, and Greg, F., it's interesting that you mentioned that because in one of my last videos, uh, I interviewed somebody and they mentioned that same that same number, a hundred dollars. So that's that's very interesting that you mentioned that. Um, you said they got a lot of baddies in Santo and Sasua, best two spots with women. Mm, thanks for the information. Yeah, and yeah, and that's and, and honestly, guys, um, uh, great. Uh, uh Mike L says I own Jones thanks for the information yeah and one thing and one thing one reason why I love doing these lives is because you know I, I have I, I do have a lot of information but I do not have all the information I'm not all encompassing when it comes to information but I, I think it's really great uh that guys can you know communicate on the lives and uh chat back and forth and whatnot so I it, I kind of said it makes me happy that I'm able to kind of have the space have this community where people are able to communicate and 
and share information that you know that I can't really give. But, but yeah, uh, Atro says Anvi is way overrated and overpriced. One mango tried to charge me. Hmm. Uh, okay, four thousand five hundred pesos. You know, I don't know if that's really way overpriced, but okay. Interesting. That's interesting. Uh, we open or still closed down. Uh, Classicos, I believe, is closed. I believe, but don't quote don't quote me on that. Uh, but but there was something else I wanted to mention. Oh, what was it? Was it about Cuba Dave? No, no, it wasn't about that. Oh, oh, something I wanted to mention. Yes, yes, yes. Um, what you doing for ah esports anime station? I, I I teach English online, and obviously I just do my my YouTube thing. But one thing I wanted to mention. So uh, actually, let me get a drink of water real quick. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, but one thing I wanted to talk about is that uh, in not in my last video, but in the video before that, I was talking about you know loneliness in Sasua and whatnot. And in that video, it made I kind of made I think I made it seem like like I was saying like if you don't speak Spanish then you're not going to have a good time here in Chisua. And I just want to be very clear that that wasn't the message that I wasn't, I wasn't not trying to give that message or convey that message. I was just trying to convey the message that um, if you're trying to hang out with a, uh, with a lot of women outside of just, you know, doing the main, the main common things, then I'm saying that if you have, if you have an attitude like, oh, I don't really want to learn Spanish or I don't really care about learning Spanish and you're still trying to hang out with chicas, you know, going to the beach, going to restaurants and doing all that stuff. That's what I was trying to talk about how, you know, you're probably going to feel lonely. Are you you're probably going to have going to have an awkward time or not that great of a time. Where but I, but what I want to want to be clear with is saying that even if you don't speak Spanish but you're open to learning or you're open to to trying and to, to try to, to try and learn, then I think you can still have a great time because like I said, people here in Dominican Republic are very very friendly, they're very very open and very, very and even the girls even the the choppies or the working girls are still very open, I think, uh, to trying to help you if you are, you know, trying to communicate communicate with them in their own language. So I just want I just wanted to say that because I think in uh, like I said in that past video, in that video that I made, it kind of made it seem like I was saying that if you don't know Spanish, you shouldn't come or something like that. That's that's not the message um, I was trying to to send. Uh, but anyways. Uh, Esports says you need a degree to teach English. Uh, no, it depends. It depends on which country you go to. Here in Dominican Republic, well, at least when I was teaching for well, I well, I taught I taught in a, an academy like eight or nine years ago, so it was a long time ago. But I think in most academies you do not need a degree to teach it. And if you're a native English speaker, you know, and you speak, you know, uh, I don't want to say with a good if you speak if you have a neutral tone. Or you speak very clearly, then you should have no problems uh, finding a teaching English job at one of the academies here. And especially there are a lot of academies in Santo Domingo. So, yeah, definitely if you're planning on teaching in the classroom, then I would definitely recommend going to Santo Domingo. Um, also, Santiago has a lot of options as well. Uh, well what else was I tr trying to say? Uh, but in my opinion, though, um, unless you just want the experience, um, I would say that teaching English online is a much better, is a more, is more profitable. It's more profitable and also is less time consuming. You can make, you can work less and make more money teaching English online, <clears throat> which some online academy, uh, some on online programs, uh, it, it uh, they do require that. Well, they require that either you have a bachelor's degree or that you're, you know, working towards that. Um, so yeah, but it just it, it is a wide range of online platforms. So, so yeah, it just depends. But anyways, uh, bah, 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 no illusion says, uh, why are you wanting to go to a club or black beards? Trust me, you'll have much better and cheaper options hollering at chicas on the street. Um, that's true. I, I I would concur. I would concur with that. Uh, with that. With that. With that. Uh, comment. <laughs> I would concur with that. Uh, no doubt. Um, I feel a smart way if you're not good in Spanish. Is to use your phone for a Spanish translator. Um, yeah, I mean, when it comes to the Spanish, well, even like even with me, 
like sometimes there are some things like, like I said, I'm not 100 percent fluent. So there are some times that I do use Google Translate. Um, I think, though, that I feel like if you're if you plan on uh, can I say it's kind of like a crutch. You know what I'm saying? So if you plan on using that all the time, 110 percent of your communication is through Google Translate, then, you know, you lose you're losing a lot. You're losing a lot there in the sense that it's, um, you know, it's, 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 it's I mean, obviously, it's just this is not the same. That's all, that's all I can say. It's just, it's just not the same. But anyways, um, facts. I got a 22-year overnight. But, ooh, okay. Stop overpaying. <laughs> uh, what's the average price for a night with a green with a green mango? The average price. You know, uh, to be honest with you, I don't really know. But I will say, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna repeat what was already said in the video. So I'm not, this is, I'm just going to repeat was, you know, if you listen, if you watch the video with Sarah, you know, she did say, I asked that question and she said it was like 150 to $200. So, you know, if you, if you go back and see that video again, <laughs> you'll, you will find your answer. But anyways, um, uh, that's true, but I do, uh, uh, says, I'm trying to learn Spanish, but it's so difficult for me. Do you have any advice to learning Spanish? Um, yeah, well, yes. Well, actually, I made um, I made a video. I made I made I wrote a blog. I made a, I wrote a blog about that topic. But I mean, first off, you just have to find your motivation. You have to find your reason why uh, you want to learn Spanish, obviously. And then, secondly, I mean, I mean, this is gonna sound kind of strange, but if you're able to find, uh, I mean, you know, how can I say this? <laughs> if you're able to find. Uh, a woman that you're interested in and she speaks Spanish, then, um, then I think that can help. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously that's, that's kind of, that's not like the, the, uh, the traditional thing to say, but it's true. It's just the truth. Uh, you know what I mean? You know, you know, cut, cut to the chase. I think, yeah, it can be helpful, which uh, guys, I'm really, really, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to do this or not, but I'm really thinking about not having a Spanish school, but just offering um, Spanish lessons with some of the women from the videos because obviously i mean obviously a lot of these dominicanas um are, well, no, not not all of them but some of them have a very uh smooth tone smooth voice you know what i mean so if you wanted to call for like mm, 20 30 minutes of the 20 let's say 30 uh 20 I, i'm i'm thinking like maybe a a 25 minute lesson i'm thinking a 25 minute lesson Mm, for fifteen dollars, yeah, twenty-five minute lesson for fifteen dollars with one of the girls from the videos uh, of your of your choice. Well, I, I have to ask to see if some girls would be interested in doing this, but I, I just feel like that. I feel like that could be very good because I because I feel like if you have that motivation, which I mean, I think there's a con I mean, I think a lot of guys might feel a connection because they see her in the video. And that could be a motivating factor for wanting to like uh, to talk and try to learn Spanish with them. I, I feel I feel like that could be a good thing. Guys, guys, let me know. I'm, I'm kind of thinking out loud, but I, I really feel like I think I might try that. That could be good. But anyways, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. LB Wavy says iPhone has an actual feature as translate languages. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh consistency is the key with learning spanish yes definitely consistency uh is definitely uh always positive mm, greg f says 30 to 60 minutes every day and you have to speak with spanish speakers yes yeah exactly 30 to 60 minutes um yeah and so um mm, atro says that sounds cool yeah okay i appreciate that comment yeah i'm really thinking about doing that because yeah i think it's just connecting two different worlds and if i can be that link I think that could be very positive. Uh, Greg F says, how long have you been in the DR? How long are you staying? I'm putting together a three-month trip now. Santiago and Sasua. I like San Domingo, but it's too pricey. Um, so when it comes to how long am I staying, I don't know how long I'm going to be here. You know, I'm just I'm just here. And, you know, when it's time to leave, you know, I'm just going to know. And I'm, you know, So there's, there's no plans. I, I really don't have any plans. Uh, but I've been here in the DR this time around. I've been here for almost 10 months i think in june it'll be 10 months yeah because i came here in august i came here august 1st so yeah it'd be about 10 months mm -hmm. mm. uh 
but yeah, but to do a three month trip, I think yeah, that sounds great. And Santiago is a great. I, 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 you know, I've made some videos on Santiago, and actually, I'm really thinking about going back to Santiago. I want to do a couple more videos there because I was only there for a month. But I'm thinking about going back. Uh, no illusion says, look, just type the suit in YouTube, and you'll see what is on the beach, and what is in the street. That way, you guys will see. Uh, I mean, and click literally. Mm, point. <laughs> Okay. All right. Cool, guys. Very good. Very good. Well, anyways, guys, uh, like I said, I was going to do this for an hour. Actually, it's an hour and 15 minutes. So, guys, I really appreciate uh, uh, you guys joining me in this live video, uh, helping me get to the hour. Um, yeah. And I hope you guys learned a lot of information, whether you will, hopefully through me or through other people that have been uh, commenting on, in, the, in the chat section. So, anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining the live. Uh, hope you have a good one. Peace.